Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. This video is made possible by the very kind donations of viewers like you. Thank you. If you are in a position to help this channel improve quality and grow, please visit my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. It is the 31st century, and mankind is once again at war. The battlefields of the future are dominated by huge robotic war machines known as battle mechs. Officially, Pavel Ridzik's invasion of Procyon was going well. After seizing the town of Dule, Ridzik personally led the Second Republic Guard against Vakor Bridge, securing it in short order. With Vakor under his control, Ridzik had secured two crossings, and the noose around Calgary City was tightening. While Charles Bridge remained contested, Basin Bridge had fallen before Ridzik had sat down. There was one problem. Major combat elements of the First Republic Guard had yet to arrive. The plan had been a simple yet daring one. Airborne forces from Ridzik's conventional regiments would be dropped as close to the bridge as possible as part of the invasion's first wave. The troops were to seize the bridge if possible, even if unable to secure the bridge, the troops were to tie up the nearby 2nd Syrian base, allowing the troops and tanks stationed there no chance to destroy the bridge. Meanwhile, dropships would land outside the city's air defense zone, deploying most of the 1st Republic Guard, along with conventional heavy armor units and mechanized infantry. These units would then rush to the bridge catching the heavy tanks of the Syrians between the now dug-in infantry and the approaching medium mechs and assault tanks of the free Tikhonovs. At first, the plan worked better than expected. The 82nd and 178th landed in their drop zones completely unopposed. They moved quickly to the bridge, finding law enforcement and local militia as their only opposition. Digging in their anti-armor weapons, they waited for the Merrick tanks. To their surprise, the attack did not come. As successful as the drop troops had been, in contrast, the First Republic was struggling. Even the battle mechs were hard pressed to make progress in the swampy approach to Basin Bridge. Taken off intelligence had known some of the marshland, but the extent of the marsh had been underestimated. While the one to two feet deep estimates were largely accurate, there were areas that could unexpectedly drop to over 10 feet deep and with little warning. In a battle mech, an unexpected drop like that could be dangerous, but in a heavy combat vehicle, such a mistake would be fatal. Weary of splitting her forces, Colonel Carla Nasora slowed her battle mechs to a crawl, using them to map out safe routes for their tracked comrades. The work was slow and stressful, sometimes stopping all together so the battle mechs could construct makeshift roads at times. The situation went from bad to worse when the Syrians finally began their attacks. Unknown to Ridzik, the heavy tanks of the Syrians had been drawn back to protect Calgary proper. The Syrian base was now manned by mostly scouting elements of the local planetary defense forces. The Free Worlds League hovercraft, normally no match for the mechs of the First Republic, now gave them a massive advantage. Virtually unaffected by the marsh, the newly minted marshland defenders used their hovercraft and brown water naval craft to great effect. Whipping in and out of the slow moving mechs, and almost helpless assault tanks. The ticking off advance was slowed, but not stopped. Outnumbered and far outgunned, the scout forces simply lacked enough heavy weapons to hold back the First Republic. As firm land grew close, surviving marshland defenders deployed their heaviest unit, the Monitor Naval Vessel FWLS Roberts. 
Battlemech reinforcements hastily dispatched from the second Syrians arrived to bolster the defense. Under constant pressure from Ridzik to advance, and with the end of their swamp misery in sight, Colonel Nassara gathered her heaviest units. Leading the charge from her family's atlas, she ordered her forces to take the swamp's bank. Quote, Sweep away the Lancers, stop at nothing, and stop for nothing. Turn 1. The harasser pushes forward to the first island. The catapult holds, taking aim. The vindicator slogs forward, but slips, falling on his left leg. The cataphract also moves forward through the muck. The blackjack also holds, aiming at his target. The awesome moves to the swamp bank. The flea, shadowhawk, and locust take up defensive positions. The saladin moves forward, taking cover behind the first island. The pegasus charges forward. The condor flanks up onto the first island. The enforcer slogs ahead. The FWLS Roberts moves out from its mooring. Colonel Nassara forces her atlas through the mud. The catapult launches both LRM-15 banks at the fleet. Missiles explode against the thin armor, damaging the right leg, left torso, and blowing out the right torso. The cataphract opens up on the Shadowhawk with his PPC. The protons flow through worn-out spots in the mech's center torso insulation, damaging the engine within. The Locust fires both LRM-5s at the distant cataphract, but misses. The Condor fires his AC-5 at the Enforcer, the heap rounds missing. Carla Nisora also targets the tiny flea, unleashing both large lasers in her AC-10. Most of the weapons strike the center torso, ripping the ancient mech in half. The Blackjack lets loose his dual AC-2s at the Condor, some of the rounds hitting the front armor. The Awesome fires two of his PPCs at the Enforcer, but misses. The Shadowhawk responds to the cataphract with his AC-5 and LRM-5, the autocannon hitting the larger mech's left torso. Turn 2. The Blackjack keeps slogging through the swamp. The Awesome steps down, submerging his leg-mounted heat sinks. The Shadowhawk jumps down into the mud. The Harasser charges into the First Republic formation. The Catapult moves forward. The Vindicator stands up and resumes his slog. The Cataphract continues to move forward. The Saladin races around the island and into point-blank range with the Blackjack. The Pegasus cuts into the middle of the enemy forces. The Condor moves around, setting up his attack run. The Enforcer keeps moving. The Monitor cuts through the swamp. Her path cut off, Nasor aims her Atlas's weapon. The harasser unleashes both SRM-6s at the catapult, explosions raking across the left arm, left torso, and center torso. The locust again fires his LRM-5s at the cataphract, some of the missiles hitting the center torso. The cataphract opens up on the Shadowhawk with his PPC, AC-10, and both medium lasers. The PPC streams, crashing into the muddy water, his other weapons missing completely. The Saladin crew fires off their AC-20 at the Blackjack, but their targeting computer glitches, causing them to miss. 
The Pegasus also fires his dual SRM6s at the catapult, missiles hitting the right and left torsos, and some causing muddy geysers in the nearby water. The Condor targets the Enforcer with his auto cannon and both medium lasers, but just cannot hit the mech. The Enforcer targets the Saladin with his full arsenal, but misses the hovercraft. The Blackjack returns fire on the Saladin with his quad medium lasers. Two miss, but two hit the front and side, melting cuts in the hovercraft's skirt, damaging the motive system. He secondary targets the Condor with his AC-2s, some rounds hitting the hover tank's turret. Carla's Atlas fires both large lasers, her AC-10 and SRM-4 at the Saladin. Most of the weapons miss, but both large lasers catch the hovercraft dead center on its front. Blowing off the whole front end, it topples forward and quickly sinks. The Awesome targets the Enforcers with all three of his PPCs, but again, misses his target. The Shadowhawk continues firing on the Cataphract. His auto cannon misses, but some of his LRM missiles hit the mech's left torso. The Catapult fires all four of his medium lasers at the Harasser, but misses the fast-moving target. The Vindicator fires his PPC, medium laser, and small laser, also at the Harasser, but like the Catapult, fails to score any hits. Turn 3. The Blackjack tries to continue forward, but trips over an unseen obstacle, falling backward on his rear right torso. The Vindicator also tries advancing, but likewise slips, hitting his center torso. The Harasser backs away, hiding behind the hill. The Locust again holds his ground. The Cataphract keeps moving as fast as he can towards the Swamp's bank. The Pegasus sees an opening, moving behind the cataphract. Colonel Nasora moves her atlas ahead. The awesome aims. The Shadowhawk jumps back. The catapult jumps ahead, landing just shy of the hill. The monitor FWLS Roberts moves full speed ahead, trying to bring his massive Auto Cannon 20s into the fight. Spurred on by his commander, the Enforcer Mech Warrior reluctantly moves up on the monitor, trying to reach the dry land of the hill. The Locust fires both LRM-5 racks at the Cataphract but misses. The Pegasus fires his SRM-6s and machine guns into the rear of the Cataphract. The missiles and machine gun rounds damaging the right arm and raking across all three rear torsos. The Condor joins in with his AC-5 and medium lasers, hitting the left arm and would have hit the mech's legs if not for the muddy water. The Cataphract Mech Warrior angered fires his larger weapons at the Shadowhawk, but his PPC and AC-10 miss. He returns fire on the hovercraft behind him with his rear-facing medium lasers, but also misses them. Colonel Nasora lines up on the FWLS Roberts, unleashing her full arsenal. Most of the weapons find their way to the ship's turret. The heavy turret coming loose from its railings, the techs that assembled the kit never installed the limiters. Its weight passes the point of no return, and the heavy turret splashes into the swamp's water. The awesome fires all three PPCs at Nasora's Atlas. The streams fail to find the assault mech. The Shadowhawk fires again on the cataphract. His AC-5 rounds miss, but some of the missiles hit the left arm. The catapult fires all four medium lasers at the Pegasus, scoring hits on the turret and right side. The lasers hit the side, blowing off the hover skirt. Deprived of all lift, the Pegasus settles into the muddy water and slowly begins to sink. The crew scramble out. Deprived of their only forward weapon and unable to bring their side or aft SRM-2s to bear, the Monitor crew are unable to attack. The Enforcer fires his lasers at the stricken Monitor, 
the lasers melting off what remained of the front armor and structure. The FWLS Roberts bow shears itself off. The ship begins sinking. Turn four. The awesome holds his ground, aiming his PPCs. The cataphract slogs forward. The condor turns, following behind the cataphract, keeping behind him and taking cover behind the hill. The catapult walks onto the hill. The enforcer walks with the catapult. The atlas continues forward. The shadowhawk jumps back. The vindicator stands and starts forward again. He does not make it far before he again slips in the muck damaging his right leg. The harasser races ahead, also getting behind the cataphract. The locust continues aiming his missiles. The blackjack stands and moves forward. The condor fires his autocannon and medium lasers at the rear of the cataphract. One medium laser going high, but hitting the heavy mech's head. The second laser vaporizing some of the muddy water. The catapult locks onto the distant locust, firing both LRM-15 racks. Most of the missiles miss, but some hit the tiny mech's right torso, heavily damaging it. The blackjack alpha strikes the condor. His lasers miss, but some of his auto cannon rounds hit the hovercraft's turret. The harasser lets loose with both SRM-6 banks. Explosions blast the rear left and right torsos, blowing out the mech's auto cannon. The Locust returns fire on the catapult, scoring hits on the mech's center torso. Colonel Carla lines up on the condor in frustration. She fires her full arsenal, but she misses with nearly everything. Some of her LRMs do hit the rear of the hovercraft, heavily damaging its motive system. The Enforcer fires his large laser and autocannon at the awesome. The autocannon misses, but the laser hits the assault mech's right torso. The Shadowhawk keeps up fire on the cataphract, but his AC-5 and LRM-5 miss. The Awesome turns and fires all three PPCs at the Enforcer, savaging its left torso, center torso, and right arm. The cataphract mech warrior fires his PPC at the Shadowhawk, hitting its left torso. He fires his rear-mounted medium lasers at the Condor, but misses. Turn five. The harasser turns around, heading north, getting behind the Atlas. The locust heavily damaged turns and withdraws from combat. The Vindicator climbs onto the hill. The cataphract continues his slow advance. The condor turns, trying to join the harasser. The catapult jumps onto the next island. The blackjack keeps pushing through the muddy water. Unprepared for the pounding from the awesome, the enforcer pilot falls, trying to catch himself with his right arm. He blows out the upper arm actuator and rips the AC-10 off its housing. The awesome turns. The Atlas continues forward. The enforcer lifts up, firing his large laser at the awesome, hitting the water near its legs. The harasser fires both SRM-6s at the rear of the Atlas, peppering the center torso and left torsos with explosions. The Vindicator fires his PPC and LRM-5 at the Shadowhawk, but misses. The Condor fires his AC-5, medium lasers, and machine gun at the Vindicator, a laser hitting its rear center torso armor. The awesome torso twist, firing another trio of PPCs, this time at the Blackjack, damaging its right torso and arm. The Cataphract Mech Warrior continues firing on the Shadowhawk, but his PPC misses. The catapult fires both LRM-15s at the awesome, hitting its right torso and head. The blackjack flips arms, firing both AC-2s at the harasser, hitting its turret. 
The Shadow Hawk again misses the cataphract. Carla Nasora brutalizes the injured Condor, blasting it with both large lasers and SRM-4 hits. But somehow, the hovercraft keeps moving. Turn six. The harasser races ahead, trying to regroup. The Vindicator walks to the edge of the hill. The awesome turns and walks onto dry land. The catapult walks down into the swamp. The blackjack keeps moving ahead. The cataphract keeps slogging on. The condor stays behind the cataphract. The shadowhawk again jumps back. The atlas keeps slowly advancing while the enforcer stands. The Enforcer fires his large laser at the Awesome, hitting its leg. The Vindicator also targets the Awesome, his PPC and LRM-5 missing. The Catapult fires all his medium lasers at the Awesome, scoring hits on his right leg, rear, center, and right torsos and arm. The Shadowhawk again fires on the Cataphract, but again misses. The Harasser fires both SRM-6 banks at the Blackjack, the swarm of missiles flying wide. The Atlas fires both large lasers, her AC-10 and LRM-15 at the Awesome, the autocannon rounds cracking armor of the right leg. The Blackjack also targets the Awesome, firing both AC-2s, some of the heap rounds hitting the right arm. The Cataphract fires his PPC at the Shadowhawk, hitting its left arm, and uses its rear-facing medium lasers on the Condor, but misses. The Condor tries to bring down the Cataphract, firing his AC-5 and lasers hitting only muddy water. Turn 7. The harasser moves to withdrawal. The Atlas and Blackjack keep moving up. The Awesome runs trying to break off contact. The Cataphract moves forward but slips, falling into the water. The shattered armor of the rear torso's breach destroying the equipment there. The Condor turns south. Their foot-mounted jump jets cleared at last. The Enforcer and Vindicator leap to the next hill. The catapult jumps to the bank, becoming the first to reach dry land. The Shadowhawk withdraws from battle. The Harasser again fires both SRM-6s, but misses the catapult. The Blackjack fires his AC-2s at the Awesome, but misses. Colonel Nasora fires her LRM-15 at the Awesome, but the missiles fail to track. The Condor fires his AC-5 and lasers at the catapult, but can't hit the airborne heavy mech. The Enforcer and Vindicator also target the Awesome, but miss. The Catapult unleashes all of his weapons, trying to keep the Free Worlds League assault mech from escaping. His lasers and missiles rake across the mech's rear. Turn 8. The Harasser escapes. 
Colonel Nasora keeps moving her atlas towards the bank. The Condor flees. The Cataphract and Blackjack keep moving forward. The Catapult holds position, waiting for his lance to catch up. The Awesome disengages and withdraws from the engagement zone. Aftermath. The slow advance of the First Republic Guard finally ended once its mechs and attached armored units finally reached the swamp's edge. No longer held back by the muck and no longer under constant attack from hovercraft, the mechs and tanks quickly met up with the forces holding base and bridge. Leaving a garrison force behind, the First continued west. With two of the three bridges now under Tikhonov control, Ridzik could now move his forces across the river with relative ease. Still, the approaches to the city were long, and one bridge, the true key to controlling Calgary, still remained. This fact was not lost on the Syrian Lancers. Jenny Two Feathers ordered her remaining forces to converge on Charles Bridge. The stage was now set. The Tikhonov Republic Guards and their supporting regiments, now united, advanced on the dug-in and determined 2nd Syrian Lancers. The resulting clash would see heavy fighting, called in airstrikes, and a duel that served as a test for new secrets. Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. Thank you for watching my content. It really means a lot that you have given me the chance to entertain you. If you would like to support the channel, please visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. Also below is a link for PayPal, or links if you would like to send crypto, if that's more your thing. Please know any amount that you give will be cherished and used to upgrade equipment and improve the channel. You can also help the channel by subscribing, turning on notifications, liking, commenting, and sharing my channel with anyone you think might be interested. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoy the battle reps that are to come.